Hello everyone, and this is the Stanley Parable. Um, I know they had an old one, and uh, got it revamped, and got even better. So, uh, let's jump into this. This is the story of a man named Stanley. That's me! Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Yay! Buttons and then one day, happy. something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yay! Forty-seven! Stanley Perlabalaba. Perlabalaba. Okay. Thirty. It's been a while since the last one was out, and uh, there's a lot, a lot of improvement, like just the quality. <clears throat> Hello? Anybody here? Did I forget something? I broke it already! What did I do? I broke something. Hello? Anybody? Hello? I hate Mondays. Close the door. How do I close the door? Narrator, I need directions. 
I need an adult. Oh, I'm stuck in the door. What am I doing wrong? Hey. Hey. Mm. Okay. And it just ends. I'm in a broom closet. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and find out what's going on here, because no idea why this isn't working. This is the story of a man. Okay, we'll just skip that, and uh, we'll try this again. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What hey. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hey, he's actually talking to me this time. <gasps> when Stanley doors. came to a set of two open doors, doors he entered the door on Ooh. his left. A print. Okay. Hmm... I don't want to listen to you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to you stop by the there. employee lounge first, just to admire it. You need to clean up there. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It is Stanley pretty. simply stood here, drinking it all in. So good! Look at that! Look at that! The fabric! Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. What's, uh... What's going on with that? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Shut up! It's possible Shut that up. this is why everyone Shut left. Up. No! No! Final go. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back uh, to business. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. We'll build boxes. Build a fort. Build a fort. Dang it. Do not jump. Okay. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story no. has been about nothing... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that no. convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? Yes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Go Give door. me a chance. Get now, door. listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Mm. I think this is a trap. Uh, no. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, we'll go through... No. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. No. 
All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. No. I haven't even finished building this section no. of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Dad, Broken rooms, it. exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Maybe. Do not think I put a lot of time into that, because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me yes. here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? The Dinosaurs! Echoes? Skill trees? Dinosaurs. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Uh, let me take Dinosaur. a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Shielding Stanley. Light. Take it for a spin. Hmm. Hmm. I like the orange. Let's go orange. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Mm, it was great. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? Mm. How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, so... Stanley. Don't even try. My Here, soul. based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly <gasps> candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Well, Let's one take great. a look. Uh. Hey. Yay. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> the worst three percent chose. Yes, that's me. Yay! So I'm the worst ever. Awesome. Thank you. I'm. St I'm still gonna go through the orange door. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors again? Honest answers, please. Mm. Yeah. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Maybe. In hey. this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. What you you click the button to move him back to the right, no. and if he reaches the fire, you fail. No. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. That's me. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game no. only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Uh -huh. So why don't you four give it four hours. hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep uh -huh. notes on your experience. Yeah. Well, I don't like the baby that much. Whoa. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You heartless bastard. I did it twice. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the I... latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm what completely out of ideas. Plan? I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. What? Thank you for playing. Your input what? was extremely valuable. Oh, what? hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. For a... I was counting tiles. <gasps> yes! Well, Stanley, is this any better? Yes. At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. 
But is it enough? Okay. Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say yes. this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> hey, all right. This will go here, no, here, and then... I want to participate. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Yay. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the oh. outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Okay. Isn't it grand? Mm -hmm. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. <gasps> diamond yes. everything. Yes, 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 yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, yes. With my fist, which won't work, but I'm okay with this. Hey, you even got the music. Oh my, it looks like it's oh. going to get a bit dark. Have I you brought a jump. light? No. I have night vision. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Yeah. Something that makes you feel utterly Run irrelevant. Away. This won't do at all. One out oh, of I'm five. Stuck. Even the oh. diamonds couldn't save this one. I'm okay, stuck. Okay, new game. Ah, oh, I was stuck. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, yes. trapped in a glass box uh, with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I yeah. couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't okay, figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Bring in this coffee mug. It's gonna help me. Got my cup of joe. Oh! Aww. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. I feel there is sarcasm there. Genius. No, actually, no... you know what? I think that's plenty. No I really don't field. care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Come Which back. is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And yes, I certainly do. don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Well, that's, uh, that's so nice of you. Can I see up there? Hey. Hey. What's going on down there? Huh. It's a long fall. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and pause it right here for now, but uh, see where this thing goes. I'm pretty excited. Yippee! See you later.